Okay, so um, this week I'm going to do a video that's off the farm and uh, it's going to be quite interesting hopefully. We're going to go to a bakery, um, a bakery where I'm on holiday. So I'm down in Sulcombe at the moment and I'm going to go to the bakehouse in Sulcombe and see how they turn this stuff. Well, this is, a, this is a bit of wheat here and from that you get flour and from flour we're going to get bread and biscuits and cakes and things like that so hopefully I'm going to go and see something like that produced down there I think they do their own croissants and things like that so hopefully I'm going to go and see them making a croissant uh, get some for my breakfast uh, and just generally see how they do things um, on the other side of the kind of production scale because I'm the sort of primary producer of milk and farmers are primary producers of the ingredients but it's I always like to see how people convert them into something that we all eat every day uh, and you might have seen my videos of uh, ice cream making and um, going to the brewery and things like that. So we're going to go to the bakehouse tomorrow morning. Right, stick with it. Let's go. Okay, morning everyone. So it is now 20 past six in the morning and I'm off to the bakehouse in 4th Street to uh, hopefully bake some bre bread and see what they're doing there and then I'm going to head off to their uh, production de depot which is in a little village just outside of town as you can see it's pretty foggy this morning uh, so the lovely view across the water there you might just be able to see a few boats but not many anyway let's go and see some bread making So I'm in the shop now, and here we have. Look at there's a man hard at work here. I've got croissants here. Look at these pan here. Pan of chocolate. Pan of chocolate. Oh, oh, croissants. Look at that. Very um, busy. Pasties. Pasties. Oh, it's all going on. Look at this. My mouth is watering. It looks fantastic. We're here really early in the morning before the shop's open, and I'm here with Ben. So, Ben, tell me about your shop. How long have you been running this business? So, um, about 12 years now. When we started, it was um, me another baker and uh, a shop lady. Shop lady's working hard putting yep, the bread out yep, for the day. She's getting herself organised, yeah. Um, and, um, and it's just grown, 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 grown ever since. So we did used to do everything in here, yeah. in this, um, on this side. So we did all the baking. Yeah. But our shop frontage was absolutely <coughs> tiny. It was literally mm. just where the doors, I mean, uh. literally everyone was queuing out the door. Yeah. So um, about three years ago, we um, moved everything off-site. So I'm going to go and see off-site later, aren't I? Yeah, that's yeah, where that's you, where So that's where made. you make everything. Yeah, that's where everything's made. It's so what happens then? You bring it in here. It's a couple of miles away. Yeah. Um, and it's all brought down. Um, and I'm... And you're busy sort so of these, preparing. These are cooked, okay. And those are raw. So you're preparing these now, are you? Yeah. So these are just egg proved, egg washed. Right. Um, and then into the oven. Into the oven, ready to go. Yeah. So they're, oh, so they're wow. made um, and brought down raw, and then these they're all baked off. So tell me, what time of day did you start? I started at three o'clock this morning. Three o'clock. Wow. Because this is our busiest time. Yeah. It's a holiday town. All the tourists like me coming Absolutely. in for a, for a pasty or a, yeah. a cake or something. Absolutely, yeah. I'm 3 a.m.? Yeah. Wow. All right, so what are you doing? You get these already, are they? Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to have a look. Oh, look at those. Yeah, beauties. Beauties. Big fat ones, aren't yeah. they? Well, it's, yeah, everything, everything, when you go up to the unit, you'll see yeah. everything's handmade. Right. Um, obviously, we use machines to mix stuff. Mm. Um, stuff like that but everything's actually made by hand. Right. Um, so what what made you want to be a baker then? It's kind of like... Well, no, like like most people I just kind of fell into it. Really. Yeah. Into but it. did you start... Have you always been a baker or did you... No, no. Um, my wife and I um, started in the restaurant game. Right, okay. I was out the back cooking. Right. She was out the front chatting. Yeah. She's good at that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying uh, anything. Yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, so and then we were out in France um, yeah. running some restaurants out there, 
and just the opportunity to take the bakery over um, came up and it was like, you know, I'd been sort of 15 years catering uh, in the catering industry and I thought, well, you know, if I can cook a steak, mm. I, can, I can make can... a loaf of bread, yeah. um, a couple of books and the one baker that I had with me who was a, a like, books. Uh, That's yeah, very an well. older chap, he was, he was a good lad, he yeah. taught, you know, so um, you. enthusiasm, books, yeah. and older, like experienced that. guy. Um, and here we go. Twelve years later. I like years that. Later, Twelve so. years later, and you're yeah, yeah, surrounded yeah. by pasties. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and absolutely. croissant. So, what's your number one seller then? What's your, what does everyone come in for apart from bread? You got um, obviously all the. Yeah, I think probably the pasties. The pasties. Yeah. They do look yeah, really yeah, yummy, yeah, actually. Yeah, puff pastry. Oh. Um, beef, sweet, uh, potato, onion seasoning. Mm. That's all that's in there. Pastry we make ourselves. Wow, look at those um, beauties. So, uh, this time of year as well, because um, France is only like yeah. 70 miles that way, mm. um, croissants, pan of chocolate. Is that the French coming on holiday like here? It. No, it's people, English people, driving down from. Um, from north of Bristol and, <laughs> and, and, and London, who who, who, and if the sunshine is, it's a, it's a real Atlantic. They feel like they're in France. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. It's I must true. admit, I would always go for the pasty. Yeah, okay. That's my that's my yeah. kind of sweetness. That yeah. is. No, um, it's a it's a real Atlantic kind yeah. of warm and uh, huge. It was really misty this morning yeah. when I came in. Yeah. Oh, look at the steam off those. Gosh. So how long do you give them in there then? It's about. Um, so what are you doing at the moment? Just to make sure they're not stuck together. Yeah, just because when they're cooking, they mm. just um, smell nice. They prove up into themselves. Yeah. And they stick together. So um, yeah, just making and, sure they all cook around. And these these are cooking in here as well, are yeah. they? Yeah. On the on the. So you just know when they're ready, or do you have it on a timer? Uh, yeah, no, no. I just purely just look at it and, and think that's yeah, okay. That's, that's ready. ready right, it's ready to go. Yeah. Right. Oh, sorry. So what time are you open? Not long now, is it? Half um, seven, yeah, is it? Yeah, we'll have people start it. I mean, if it was a sunny day, <coughs> if it was a sunny day and everyone wanting to go to the beach. Yeah. Are um, uh, they coming for their picnic stuff? Yeah, they'd come, they'd, we'd have probably a queue out there now. Really? As it's a bit miserable, people will be yeah. staying in bed a bit longer. Well, and what time do you finish then? What time does this place shut? Um, well, we shut when we sell out, really. Really? <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't suppose you can keep them for tomorrow, can no, you? <laughs> no, no, that, I mean, that's, that's the other thing. Um, everything is remade every day. Fresh, yeah. Um, we aim to sell out. Yeah, that's the best way um, to do it, isn't it? But it's kind of timing it down on the sliding scale. I mean, we have about, in a whole week, I mean, this is our wastage for like a whole wow. week. Wow, it's not that much for So where did the waste go then, all that waste um, spread? So you're about to meet um, a Spanish sheep farmer. Oh really? He'll come and get those, yeah, for sheep? He, yeah, he comes oh, brilliant. and um, he uh, puts his sheep up on, on Bulbury, up on the, the hills up, yeah. up there. And he um, just mixes these. Because um, it's only wheat, feet. really, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, yeah. let's face it, it's yeah. flour is wheat, and that's yeah, so, what. Um, so, in there, there's no, um, yeah, there's no animal product. I mean, no. um, sort of pre, sort of, so, you know, 70s, early 80s, pre that, um, everyone used to put lard in the bread. Right. Um, and the pastry. Why'd they do that? Um, well, just you need a bit of fat in there right, just to okay. kind of. So what what it changed all. then? Well, um, just you know, food, modern foods. Yeah. So what do you put in to replace so the lard just, then? It's like a vegetable. Oil, oh, okay. Basically. Yeah. It's a vegetable oil. Yeah. So. Um, so that's going for sheep. I love that. That's really as a farmer, yeah, I like the idea of that. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure he's happy for his sheep. Yeah, Look at and that. he's got ducks and chickens. As oh well, well so they I'm do sure well out of that. Brilliant. Here we are, we're going to egg wash these. So the, the whole point of the egg wash, what is the point of the egg wash? Just to make a lovely a brown yeah, colour, isn't it? Yeah, it makes them look the more appetising. So, right. Um, if you didn't do one with egg wash, what it would it look like? It would look uh, just slightly cardboardy. Right. 
slightly matte. Yeah. It would still it would still be exactly the same taste. Okay. Um, so is that just egg? Literally just egg, or is it, it is? Yeah, it's literally just else. egg and a little bit of milk. Okay. See, not being a baker, I wouldn't know this. Some of you are watching this going, duh, obvious. <laughs> but to me, that's like, well, I don't know how you do it. But it just makes, it just mm. makes some, look, I'll try and find one that hasn't got, that I've right. forgotten to make one. Oh, okay. But, um, see, look, they look like nice and... Yeah, they've got a sheen to them. Yeah, and crispy. And right. It's like you egg watch, um, sorry. That... That hasn't got a sheen oh, quite that, as much. Actually, that hasn't. That I've forgotten oh, okay. to egg wash. Ah, oh, right. One. Okay, you can see the difference in. Yeah, yeah. I think you've got the eye for it more than I would as a customer, though, because I would come in and go. Oh just, yeah, yeah. You know, no, it's, no, yeah. it's like anyone who does their job. But if they do it well, they know the difference, and, and the average person doesn't. No. You know. So when I look at cows, I look at cows, and I can see a good one and a bad one. Where <laughs> everyone else just sees black and white. <laughs> That's not fair to compare a croissant with a cow, is it? <laughs> Right. right, so I'm, I'm going to head up to your, oh what's this, we're getting Let's do some baguettes. Some baguettes, so you're egg washing those as well? No, no, don't egg wash those. No, you don't egg wash, what's this then? So this is like, um, just a little bit of semolina flour, just All so right. they don't stick okay. into the thing. Why are you semolina flour and not normal flour? Um, I just, pers oh, it's look. just personal taste, so yeah. semolina, you know sometimes on the bottom of a pizza? Yeah, yeah, you know, I quite like, like it actually. Yeah, yeah. so, um, I, yeah, it has a little bit of a crunch, right. so it's just, I personally prefer it to, um, mm. Okay, so that's your personal little tweak. Yeah, I just so these are going yeah, in. prefer it to, um, just normal. I'm going to have a little, little chat with your lady putting out the bread a minute, if that's okay. Yeah, and right. they, um... Oh, there they are, so, wow, yeah, look at that. Um, see, they're just yeah, a little, little bit more crusty. Alright. Okay, so, so you're putting the baps out for the day then, are you? Yeah. What do you do, just break them up into sections? You expect them to two, or four. So they come in a big sheet? Yeah, the baby bakes them, and uh, we put them out. Wow. Which is the favourite of everyone? I think the white ones. The white ones, yeah. The white ones. You've got a hell of a range here, haven't you? What have you got in all these shelves then? You've got sourdough. Sourdough here. Sourdough, seeded granary, yeah. wholemeal, white and granary. Wow, lovely. So you've got uh, granary baps, white baps, crusty white and crusty granary. What's your favourite then? Crusty granary. Crusty granary. Crusty granary. Crusty granary. Yeah. Beautiful. I love I love seeing all the bread on the shelves like this. Yeah. It's so wonderful. No plastic in sight either. I like that. And you're using paper bags. That's really yeah, nice. Plastic, the carry, uh, paper, or even the carry bags. Are... That's wonderful, isn't it? You're using everything sustainably. Yeah, even the drinks are in cans instead of bottles. Excellent. Sausage rolls out of the freezer. Yeah, yeah. We'll are those going sausage. in the oven? Yeah, so straight, straight in the oven. Master baker here. Look at that. Oh, they look so awesome. we're just loading up here. Yeah. Here's a good one. How long roughly do they take then? They're about 16, 18 minutes. Right. I've got an egg washed. Okay. So those are egg washed. So you put an egg wash on the top? Yeah. Just So we've got Will here now who's uh, slicing bread. Oh wow. How many, how many loaves of bread have you got a slice this morning? Um, about six of each. About half and all of those, yeah. half of Right. Okay. In, in there, it's like, um, like loads of like saw, saw blades all okay. facing that way. Yeah. So he has to just chuck it in. And you make, make sure you don't chop your fingers no, off. No, no, no. Really so the wrapped ones. There we go, in it goes again. Brilliant. Good skill there, mate. Not not missing the bag, isn't it? Hey? Thank you. Right. 
So it's about to get busy with the customers and I'm going to head off now and say goodbye to Ben and I'm heading up to the production facility but I'd like to say thanks very much for showing me your bakery. No, thank you for coming. And hopefully for coming. you'll get some customers off the back of this video because yeah. when they're coming on holiday to Solcombe they can come and see you. Absolutely, well, we always like customers. And come and see your croissants. Yes, definitely. Right. Thanks very much. Thanks everyone.